Jiva Fertility Centers is running free fertility camps at all our centers in Banjara Hills, Sanatnagar, Kompalli and Manikonda on all Saturdays this coming month of July. Please come down, evaluate yourself, understand your infertility and your chances of fertility with the treatment options available. There are heavy discounts given on IVF procedures. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Suarjla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What are the symptoms of ovulation? How do you even assess that you are ovulating and therefore it is the right time for intercourse and chances of your pregnancy to increase? To understand ovulation, we need to first go back and see what is the life cycle duration of an egg after it is ovulated. An egg, when it ovulates, it lasts for about 24 to 36 hours inside the fallopian tube and the sperms can survive inside the uterus for about four to five days. So what does it mean? It means that you are fertile five days before about to ovulate and one day after uh, you have ovulated. So this is a very critical window for you to get pregnant. Now you have to understand that each cycle there may be a difference in your ovulation time and period. There is about 46 percent difference in women to women and within a woman also the ovulation period or the time duration. So it's very critical to track your ovulation so that you are able to better plan your intercourse so that your chances of pregnancy increase. Now there are two critical hormones that are acting during your uh, ovulation. One is estrogen, second is progesterone and based on this your symptoms and signs of ovulation also differ. Now estrogen is a hormone that is released in the first half of your cycle and progesterone is released in the second half of your cycle. Estrogen is very important for the growth of your egg and it helps in the ovulation, it helps in the you know, release of a hormone called luteinizing hormone which is very important for releasing the egg. Now try to understand that when estrogen is being released and your egg is growing, it's, it's peaking, your body is also behaving differently. There is a high sexual desire, there could be wetness in the cervical area, also the mucus becomes very sticky. These are the symptoms that ovulation could be happening under the presence of estrogen. Once the estrogen rises, the egg has grown to the right age and capacity, there is a surge in a hormone called luteinizing hormone which then releases it. Now when this is released, progesterone starts building up. This is the second hormone I was talking about. When progesterone starts building up, the uterus is then getting ready for a pregnancy. Now the symptoms that you see during ovulation is because of the release of the fluid with the egg. When the egg has ovulated, a lot of fluid has also released and therefore when it accumulates inside the abdominal cavity, there is a little bit of pain that is also accompanied and it is normal. There could be a temperature rise of about 0.5 to 1 degree centigrade, which is also normal. Now under the influence of progesterone, there is lesser sexual desire because the egg now thinks that you know it is ready for fertilization and it's getting ready to implant. So the cervix also becomes hostile to sperms as in the sexual desire comes down Therefore, it's getting ready for the pregnancy. So estrogen and progesterone play a very important role in, in your ovulation. And also just by listening to your body, you can see the signs and symptoms of ovulation. If you want to understand more and to uh, understand your chances of pregnancy based on your ovulatory pattern, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.